Sumner, come on, the plane's about to take off. Oh, Allie, I'm already on it. <laughs> you just got dissed. One, two, three. It tastes almost like a Doritos chip. Oh my gosh. Anyo. And welcome to Seoul's Incheon International Airport. We just flew about 12 hours from LA, and then we have another seven or eight hour flight into Indonesia, which is our final destination. So here in Seoul, we have about 11 hour layover, so plenty of time. Yeah. And we were originally planning to go and visit the city of Seoul, but... Yeah. Well, yeah. we're trying to see as much as we could. However, yeah. we ended up going through immigration. You know, we got our visa thing that we had to pay for. We got yeah. our COVID test. And somehow we ended up going through security again. And long story short, we cannot leave anymore. So yeah. we're going to try to make unless, the best out of it. Well, unless you have a dying family member. So in case you get stuck with a long labor here in Incheon Airport, you know exactly what to do, uh -huh. have the best time possible. So right now, because we haven't eaten for the past 14 hours, our first priority is to go find some food. So yes. let's go. Something that we've noticed that we really like here about the airport already are these information uh, kind of like little screens. You can like select your language, search for specific like anything, or on the main menu you got flights, direction, shopping, food, transport, and parking. Obviously, yeah, we're looking for food. So, of course, Korean. All right, so Korea Garden looks pretty good. So what we can do is actually go ahead and press, and it's literally going to take us on directions through the airport and literally like show us exactly where to go, which is super helpful. All right, so there we are. There's Allie. <laughs> Asian Allie. Asian Allie is making her way down. Oh. Going up some escalators. And before you, look at that. Wow. Before you know it, we're at Korea Garden. Yeah. Let's go. here at Korea Garden and our food has arrived. It looks amazing. So Ali has uh, some rice over here. For the main course is a, what, spicy beef? Hot and spicy something. Hot and spicy, yeah, beef soup. Looks like some black beans, some tofu, and I think potatoes. And then to drink, what is this they got to drink here? It's, what is? I mean, they call it cider. A but, cider. I mean, all we know is that it's pure, clear, and caffeine free. Pure, clean, and caffeine free. That's all that matters. And then on my end, I have a bulgogi board, so have some, I think like miso soup or something like that. Rice, uh, looks like some beef over here. Similar kind of um, additions there. And then to drink, have some corn silk tea. I have no idea what that even is, which is exactly why we ordered this. But man, I gotta say, this looks great. Let's give it a taste. It is spicy, <laughs> but it's so well seasoned. It's so, so rich. Now someone is about to try this corn silk tea. Okay, let's see if it's corny, if it's silky. That tastes like liquid popcorn. What? Like liquid popcorn. I'm not a huge popcorn fan, so like I don't like it as much, but yeah. Okay, my turn. What do you think? Oh my gosh. You're totally right, but it's funny because it's true. It's corny. It's very smooth. Do you like, like it? I wouldn't drink this whole thing, but interesting. And the best part is all of this was less than 19 US dollars. All right, so Ali and I are now here at the Transit Hotel because basically all of our possessions are in our luggage, so it's pretty heavy. Just even walking around a little bit now, we were getting so tired of it, so we just want to find a dedicated place to leave our stuff as we walk around the airport. So we're here at the hotel. It came to about 10 US dollars per night for a minimum of six hours. So we did the full six hours, so it's 60 US dollars, which for us is definitely worth it. 
But keep in mind, if you're going around the airport, we saw plenty of free lounge areas if you're planning just you know staying with your luggage. So that's really nice. And also, we looked into this because we were planning on going out. If you do go out, there are some places called like Safex or something where you can actually drop off your luggage as well, go around the city, and then come back to the airport and your luggage is here. But because we weren't able to leave the airport, we are able to use it, so we don't know. But we're here at the hotel now. Let's go see the room. Number 311, let's go check it out. All right, and the grand reveal. Wow, five stars. Look at that. <laughs> Spacious two bedroom, baby. We got our little waters here. And the tour is done. And the tour is almost done. Got our nice little beds. Let's check out the bathroom. The sweet, sweet master bath. What's up, guys? Oh, <laughs> trying to squeeze in here. Honestly, yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, for 10 bucks an hour Fresh for me. Out, leave our stuff here. Exactly, that was kind of the point, so. Yeah, this looks great. And another little tip that we discovered is there's this place called the Transfer Lounge. Kind of where is it located? It's by gate 231. It's also for the Korea Air Transfer Desk. But we thought, okay, this is only available, this area for Korea Air passengers. But this is available for anyone in the airport, which is awesome. Yes. And what it is, is basically this area where you have a nap room. You can literally go down and sleep it's and rest. super quiet, dark, really quiet. very nice. There's an area to work. There's actually all of these kind of Seating and lounging right behind us. A lot more seating area out oh, here as well. Table as well. And before COVID, they actually had a shower area, a massage, yeah. which apparently both were very inexpensive. There's actually a kids' gym if you have kids, like they can go and play, which is real. I've, I mean, I haven't been to, I guess, that many airports, but I've never seen an airport with this. And, and this is and really let cool. Let alone for free too. For like, free, exactly. Look what they have pulled up right here in the internet area. Only the best. Wow. Now let's do some shopping. This is the only thing that we've bought. Uh, but one of the things we've seen is red ginseng, or Korean ginseng, like everywhere. So as we were walking, getting super thirsty, and decided, hey, why don't I stop at this tea house and get some actual red ginseng water to give this a try. Uh, it might solve all of my problems, or create more problems. And then here we have, I have no idea what this is, but it's a energy aid, which I could really use right now to kind of help fight against the jet lag. I think this also has ginseng, so we are about to get ginsenged up. Let's give it a try. So here's the water. All right, water. Oh, wow. It tastes almost like a Doritos chip, but like water. I'm not kidding. It tastes like a lot of like So we've had, we've had popcorn, liquid <laughs> we've had popcorn, popcorn. And a little bit like liquid uh, Doritos. <laughs> And then here, I'm a little bit more hopeful. We got some cranberries, blueberries in there. Um, let's give this a try. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's very good. Like this sparkling kind of like lemonade, very, very sweet. A little bit of hint of that Dorito, I'm just kidding, no, a little bit of red ginseng in there, I think, and some ginger. That's really good. I like this a lot, um, but this is good too. Uh, just a different taste. Yeah. hunger for Korean treats just continues to increase as we walk around the airport here. Yes. <laughs> so we stopped at this place that I don't even know what the name is, but we saw some of these delicious looking donuts and decided to get. So we have here a Korean donut, um, at least that's what they called it, and then a r sticky rice fried. fried donut or fried sticky rice. What we're going to do is try these both at the same time okay. and give our rating out of 10. Okay, so we have to be honest about okay. it. Ready? One, two. Wait, cheers. Oh, cheers. Then one, two, three. Seven. Hold on. <laughs> when you don't think of a donut, <laughs> then it's good. Then I would say it's like a seven or eight. So don't think it's a donut, and then it tastes much better. What does it taste like? What's sweet that inside? Cake, sweet cake. I don't sweet know. Sweet cake. Interesting. So there's something there's some, inside. Something green. Maybe like a bean paste, I think. Mm, could be. Hold on. Let me try. Let's switch. Yeah. Let's okay. switch. Let's get a little piece. Mm, it is sticky. 
Very, I give this one a 6 out of 10. Yeah. I this like is, it. This is savory. No, that's sweet. It's both. It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's they're good. both good. They're, they're both more than 5 out of 10. They're definitely good. Um, just different. Different. Maybe if you expect like an American donut, then of course it would be different. But these are very good. Yeah, I mean, that it, one's better. Yeah, I mean, but if you deep fry anything, isn't it good? <laughs> Learning geography here in South Korea, we have North America, we have Parliament buildings, we have Americans, we've got Mexicans, and we've got Brazilians. That's, that's all of the other And yeah, the waterfalls. For Europe, we have the United Kingdom, the Eiffel Tower, and then Finland. We have the entire continent of Egypt. New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're here at this really cool spot we didn't realize before called the Korean Experience Center. Experience Cultural Center. Yes, and it's basically this really beautiful room. I'm not allowed to show too much, so I can't really show you everything, but um, it's this really beautiful room obviously decorated and organized in kind of the traditional Korean style. Yeah. And what's really cool, which we just found out, is they actually have this free kind of class, yeah. self-guided class, where we make bibimbap, which was originally the royal dish for the king's family, sort of like a light lunch apparently. And yeah. um, basically we're gonna try to- Make re this collage. Yeah, recreate this collage. Here's kind of what's inside. Then we have the um, iPad here to kind of help guide us on the directions and, the final and then the final sample of what we're trying to achieve so yeah let's try it all right moment of truth alley let's open it up oh my gosh it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's mostly alley, but this is awesome. What a fun activity. What a fun activity. After a quick wardrobe change, shower in our hotel, we're now here at our gate, getting ready to de depart to Bali. And man, those 11 hours here went by so yes. fast. I'm I was, shocked. I was shocked. It was crazy when you looked at it, it was like, oh, it's 4.30 p.m., we gotta go. Yeah. So much amazing food and shopping and activities that I was definitely not expecting. This is yes. uh, well organized. I really, really like this airport. And honestly, there are way worse places to get stuck, to get stuck. for a long layover. So now, if you do get stuck in the Seoul Incheon Airport, you know a little bit more of what to do and have the best experience possible. So if you like this video, you'll love our adventures all throughout East Asia. Uh, and we'll link a video somewhere here on the screen. So go ahead and click on that video. And until next time, God bless, safe travels, and we'll see you there. Bye. Bye.